everyone, my name is Keely and I'm the owner and creator here at Soy and Shea and thank you so much for joining me for another soap making video. This week's video is in a slightly different format. At the moment I'm doing lots of remakes of my sort of um, staple soap, so I've got things like my Cleveland Honey Bar and my French Lavender. And today I'm going to take you along as I do French Lavender. And because it is meant to be such a calming aroma, I decided just to do a video of me making the soap to music and none of that chit chat that goes along with it. Now I have made this soap on camera before, I did it when I first sort of started making my videos for YouTube and it was way back in, I think it was about March 2017. Um, I will leave a link up in the top right hand corner if you're game enough to go and watch it. I did sit and watch the replay to see if I was doing anything different these days and I'm not, it's exactly the same except for today I'm putting it into a slab mould rather than into my loaf mould. Um, the only thing is with that original video I had a completely different camera, not as um, good quality as the one I've got today. I was using free editing software so I was very limited with what I could and couldn't do in terms of um, the editing, editing of it and also you could tell that I was very very nervous um, when making the videos and as I said way back when I first started making the videos one of the things for me uh, not only being able to share um, and inspire others as I had been inspired I wanted it to be a way for me to start building up confidence in doing sort of public speaking and that sort of thing and I can actually really see that you guys have helped me to do that by watching along with my videos and leaving all the beautiful comments that you do. Now before we do go and jump into making this soap I did want to actually show you what we've been working on in the front of our house. If you ever watched the very first video I ever put onto YouTube which was a tour of my workshop I start on the outside of the workshop and it is just a complete mess. It is rubble, it's dirt, um, it's not very pretty and we have been working very hard to get the front of our, ha our home actually landscaped and now the front of the workshop is all beautifully landscaped and I thought I'd take you along this week and show you that because one of my pride and joys out the front of my workshop is my lavender bed and I will go and show you that now. Let's go. So this is now what the outside of the workshop looks like. We've got a little bit of a gravel driveway. We just figured that at this stage it was better to put this in than a big concrete drive. But what we've got down on this side of the um, drive, if you follow along with me on Instagram, you'll know that I love my natives. And this one here is a Winter Delight Grevillea. It is so pretty and delicate with all those little flowers. It should grow to about half a meter high and it should attract all the butterflies and things like that. I've also got a little white gardenia in here which should give some really nice pretty flowers and again attract all the insects. And I also put in a big grevillea as well because I really love these. These will attract in all the lorikeets so you'll hear even more birds on the video. And I have my mother-in-law's hibiscus planted in here too. So this is the front of the studio and again I have planted out my natives in the front here. I have another one of those Winter Delight Grevilleas. This one's just starting to come into flower. I love Banksias but they're a little bit big to go in the garden so we found a little pygmy version so this should give me some tiny little Banksia flowers and they dry really well. This one here is a Strawberry Fair and it should be coming into flower soon. I can see just on the tops of those are all, all little flowering buds and they should go this really bright pink and then down here I have some bottle brushes I absolutely love the bottle brushes they will attract lots of birds and um, lots of other wildlife as well but they should also make a nice little hedge along that edge and as we come up to the doorway, I have my beautiful lavender garden bed. I trimmed this back about three weeks ago. I really cut it all back and harvest all the flowers. I made some hydrosol and I also have some drying. And it has all come back into beautiful bloom again. And it is full of bees. I'm pretty sure the neighbours down the back of us have a beehive. Because all of a sudden all these bees appeared about the same time I think it got installed. So I'm really happy about that. He should be getting some lavender honey. 
um, but this is absolutely beautiful and I can't wait to harvest the next lot there's four plants in that box and then I've got two more in here these are French lavender this one in here I can't remember what it is but it is another form of lavender and it um, flowers pink so I can't wait for that one to come out and I got a little bit of aloe vera there which I need to pot out so that is what the front of the studio now looks like but now it's time to go and make the soap
So I hope you have enjoyed watching how I make my French lavender soap. If you did, why not leave me a thumbs up and any comments down below. Also let me know if you did enjoy watching it as more music to the soap making, because if you did, I would certainly have a look at doing a couple more like that. Um, and if not, I won't. With the little balls that I made um, with some of the scraps, I have a little container here. These will actually sit on the curing rack for a week just to um, dry them out just a little bit. Then I'll pop them into the container and I'll make a galaxy soap one day. The reason I only leave them to cure for a week on the rack is that when they come time to putting into it a bigger loaf of soap, it will still be nice and easy to cut through them because they won't be hard like all the other soaps. So I hope you did enjoy watching that and until the weekend's video, I hope you have a great one and I'll see you then. Bye.